my favorite redhead. What's going on guys? King Strats here back in the video on the channel. And today we went to Wendy's, but not really for food, but I was just going to eat some food anyway because, well, there's a lot of reasons. But biggest reason, let me take these off to the side, is this orange disgustingness that you see right here. This is a pumpkin spice frosty. Wendy's came out with a pumpkin spice frosty and there were a lot of inquiries about it, so I did get it, but I also got a backup frosty because I'm not the biggest fan of pumpkin spice, but even when I don't like something, I try it as long as I find it edible. So that doesn't mean anything with pickles in it because I know someone's going to comment that. But even when I don't like things necessarily, I still will give my take on it and try to extrapolate and see if someone, if you're a fan of pumpkin spice, because I do understand that pumpkin spice stuff does taste different. It's just not my thing. I don't dislike it. It's just not my thing. So anyway, let me take these out. I went to see a movie today called A Haunting in Venice. And I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. Couldn't tell you what happened. I, I don't know. It was it was just a guy going, Mel Dale, every five seconds. That's That was the movie. So let me tell you what I got. This is my favorite stuff at Wendy's. Basically, Wendy's greatest hits. And one weird thing, which is what this is. I got a baked potato. Wow. Hey, I knew that this might be on point today. The staff was like super nice. I don't know why, but when I got to the drive through window, I already had my mobile order. And the dude that like, you know, you picks, he was like, hey, hey, just super. When people in a good mood at fast food places, it bodes well. So I got a chili cheese baked potato, but look how much they loaded me up. I did not ask for anything specifically. And you know, I don't give my real name in my order. So it has nothing to do with anything like that. But I just wanted to, I don't know, baked potato time. This is my other order of, I got the queso fries. They ain't really queso me, but there's enough in here. I can probably make a double. Also got the most underrated thing on the Wendy's menu, which is a chalky chip cookie. Yes, I said chalky chip. I don't know why I said that. Get into our sandwiches. All right, we got a 10-piece spicy nug. This is my Wendy's greatest hits, by the way, so people know. Probably be the title of the video. It's my Wendy's greatest hits. We got just the chicken. We got the Asiago Ranch Chicken Sandwich, the spicy version, right? Spicy, like that. And then we got our, this is it right here. This is my, like, new thing at Wendy's, but we got the the, the loaded nacho uh, cheeseburger. I love this when I got it. You know, a lot of people, some well, not a lot, but some people think I, like, be trying to do stuff to cap or, like, maybe somebody's paying me. If I tell you, like, oh, this is one of my favorite new burgers, you're going to see a lot of it before they stop because I already missed the... Uh, the, some of their burgers that they had, like the bourbon and all the other ones, they'd be good. So anyway, let's do this. Am I going to have to try this first, man? I guess so. Oh, yeah. I'm going to do two uh, snack reviews on this, too, as well. Yesterday, I did the Limon Dinamitas, and I, I ordered these, believe it or not. I got these from Walmart. Um, so we got hot honey mustard and smoky chili queso. Like I said, they're at Walmart, but they're really hard to find right now. They probably will roll out. But I actually ordered them off Walmart.com so I could get them now. Because I'm a fan of Doritos, and I like the idea of these. So I wanted to see what was popping with those. Well, let's get into it, man. I'm going to start off with the pumpkin spice frosty. Yeah, definitely. Honestly, this probably won't even be that bad. Let's get the spoon out. Let's get the spoon out. Let's see what's what. You already know. It's, it's orange. I don't need to describe pumpkin spice because they flood the market with pumpkin spice at this point where everything is pumpkin spice. You either love it or hate it. Let's see. There's two different things that are pumpkin spice, in, like in my opinion. There's pumpkin spice I like, and there's pumpkin spice I don't like. I'm not a fan of this one. It has a artificial pumpkin spice taste. It works with certain things, but I will say this again. A lot of people enjoy that specific artificial tasting pumpkin spice. If you do, it's going to be right up your alley because it's right in that genre. But for me, it's definitely a hard pass. You can see I took one sip of that and I'm done. It's just not for me. Now, I would give this a 4 out of 10. It's not inedible, but it's not something that I would ever, ever order again. There's a specific artificial, clovey, nutmeggy thing that comes with pumpkin spice when it, uh, it's so hard to explain. The one I like tastes more like pumpkin pie, which I understand, oh, there's no pumpkin spice. But there's a pumpkin spice that they do with certain ice creams that doesn't taste like this. It tastes more like pumpkin pie. That, this is, this is not, this is not. So we just going, whoop. And let's just get into the food, talk a little bit about the movie. I don't know, we'll talk about, we don't script things around here. Let's get into this burger though, man. This is, the Wendy's, <sighs> I think we might have to make t-shirts, guys. I was going to say chat like I was on Twitch. <laughs> this is the one. All right, let's do it. This is the loaded nacho cheeseburger right here. 
They put plenty of corn nuts on it this time. Somebody commented, they said, they wouldn't put that. That was an accident. It's not an accident. They come with the burger. You can literally look and it's on there. Anyway, did it again because I just think this thing is a dub. So we got the tomato, the queso, the tortilla strips. I got the double with the corn. Uh, they even got more on here like this. I'm just I'm going to throw these back on here, player. I'm going to throw these back on. This, for me, is just, it's an awesome burger. It really is. But I, I might just give you a whole Wendy's, like, poem at this point. The jalapeno cheddar bread. If you are a fan of fast food, you know, some people think they're too good for it, which, I, you know, I'm not one of them. Oh, look at this. Look at, look at, look, 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 look. Y'all see that? They got melted cheese. Like, it's stuck there. That's about to be a bite, bro. This is better than what I told y'all, bro. I know. I told y'all, because the guy was at the drive through window was super nice. And when I seen this, I said, what I say? Y'all can go rewind it. what I say? I got a baked potato. Wow. Hey, I knew that this might be on point today. When this people in a good mood at fast food places, that bodes well. When you get somebody who's mad nice, order everything. Because you already know. There's extra corn nuts on here. It's even crispier than the last time I got it. And the bun is even more of a pronounced cheddar with the spice from the jalapeno. Bro. Well, if they make them like this every time, I would say this is the best fast food burger in the game. Like, period. That's how crazy it is. Look at that bite. I'm not going to give this a perfect score on a fast food scale. I got super lucky today, but this is as good as it gets. I'm not even going to rate it because I've had it before. Y'all got to try that one, man. For people who don't know, I've done numerous rankings on live streams, TikTok, Twitch, you name it. And when I put my goat fast food chains, Wendy's is on that. For me... Wendy's is, is just a cut above. Wendy's and Popeye's are my two favorite places. For people who don't know. I like other places, but fast food. I know someone might comment, oh, what about five guys? That's not fast food. This is fast food. drive through windows, things of that nature. Those are more considered fast casual chains, by the way. So places like Chipotle and Five Guys, um, you know, the Habit Burgers, the Shake Shacks, um, Culver's. I think, I believe the, the, the like actual rule is if a place has a drive through but it doesn't always follow because there's like anomalies to that. But for me, I always say if you can get a meal and it's changing because fast food is getting expensive. If you can get a meal for less than $10, it's fast food. But at Wendy's, you can get a four for four and all that other stuff. They're not going to do that. If you, if you go into five guys at $4, they're going to laugh at you. <laughs> so you get what I'm saying. All right. So we got the Asiago. Ranch, the spicy version, the chicken club, tomato, the ranch, bacon strips. Look, they bacon stripped me too. I just did that. It was like, like perfect. I knew it. Yo, bro, he was so nice. He said, hey, how y'all doing? I swear to God. And the dude that handed me the bag was the same. He was like, hey, you guys have a great night. Thank you. I was like, I'm in Jersey, bro. We don't do that here. Anyway, so here we go. Look at this is cherry sprite zero Coca Cola freestyle machine. They hitting today. Oh, they hit. Oh, that's. I know why y'all think I'm high all the time, bro. I don't even smoke. It's good. Wendy's is super underrated to me. This might just be a Wendy's love letter, this point right here. Super underrated. That right there, the one thing I like about Wendy's, one, they're super consistent. The ones I go to. I understand there's bad Wendy's in certain places, but where I live, all the Wendy's I go to are super consistent, and there's, there's not an, a complete L on the menu, in my opinion. Y'all gonna think I'm crazy when I say this, but 
Wendy's is what McDonald's thinks they are, where you can get anything there and it's good, and you can get stuff. The only difference is Wendy's is 24 hours, but they're open till like 3 a.m., 3.30 where I am. But elite breakfast, baked potato, fries, good chicken sandwich, good burgers, good desserts, good Frosties, right? You get the chili if you want to, the spicy nugs. Like, everything at Wendy's for me just hits. But this is, I had to get into this. I got that chili cheese baked potato, bro. Look at this thing just, like, bustling with activity. This thing goes, I can't even turn it over because it's going to drip. Man, there's so much cheese on this. <laughs> Bruh. Look at this. <laughs> this is the best fast food potato that I've ever eaten. Like, cooked, like baked potato, I should say. From not many places do it, but I used to get these all the time. And this is easily the best one I've ever gotten. This thing is. I mean, there's so much chili. They even double cut me. Really. I'm going to do something with this. I don't even know. I'm going to do something. Something going down with that. I don't even know what it is yet. But like, this thing is crazy right now. The potato is like perfectly. Every once in a while, you go to a, like a fast food restaurant. And you get like. Like that absolute dub, like everything is hitting that. This is that for me right now. It's very rare that you get where everything is just like crazy. Got the queso fries. I liked these a lot last time. I wanted to get them again. And it looks like they use both kinds of cheese this time. I don't know what the hell is going on at this Wendy's right now, but there's melted regular cheese on this. Last time there was just queso. That's not like that this time. If I didn't only have one fork, I would do my patented for I want to throw this. I'm not gonna though. I'm not wasting this. They even got my whole order right. This is like the, like the wildest Wendy's order I've ever gotten. Spicy nugs. Underrated spicy nugs right here. Chocolate frosty. That's much better. Fries into the chocolate frosty. I don't, it's supposed to be vanilla, but I don't care. By the way, strawberry frosty's gone. They don't want to keep it on the menu. They replaced it with that abomination. Most underrated cookie in fast food is the Wendy's chocolate chip cookie. If you don't want Wendy's after watching this, I want Wendy's again. I'm eating it. Nah, man. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. This is Fanta Orange. Let's review these chips real quick. Talk about the movie. Which, the movie conversation today is going to last... One minute. But I want to try these first. So first, we got the Dinamita Sticks. Stick of Dynamite. Smoky Chili Queso. I just had to try these. I couldn't wait no longer. It was free shipping. I said, all right, let's just do it. Let's see. Smoky Chile Queso. I was not expecting that. It does say Sticks. They should have kept it the way it was, though. All right, so let me take two of these out real quick, show you what's going on. So, boom. They're actual sticks, like a potato stick, but it's not potato, it's corn. Um, I like the rolled idea. It, the, the texture on theirs was good. I don't think they should have changed it from that, but hopefully they still taste good, because that's already a letdown. I wasn't paying attention when I actually looked at this, because I got so excited I just ordered them. Why did y'all this up, bro? It is a corn stick. The texture is like a crunchy Cheeto. It just don't hit the same because you know how crunchy Cheetos got the little ridges on them? It's all like, you know, they're not linear. It's curved, though. Curved. I'm not. Don't say that. 
Mm-mm. Some of y'all nasty. The minute I said I don't smite for say something. But the flavor on these is on point. I do wish that they... I guess they didn't want to take the Cheeto structure, but these just taste like really queso type of Cheetos. My disappointment is slowly wearing away. These are fire. I had to change my mindset. Once I flip the switch, it's like a spicy queso. Never had like spicy queso ruffles and stuff like that. That's what I'm getting from these. You get a little kick from that jalapeno, but it's a very cheesy flavor. But the cheese is... It doesn't taste like that artificial cheddar dust. It tastes like actual queso. Nice job on these, man. Get Doritos, man. Don't miss. Even when they piss me off, I like it. These are ridiculous, God, man. Y'all see how it just changed up? Yeah, that just happened. These are fire, bro. Doritos don't miss. I still prefer the corn chip, but these hit. These hit. Oh, Doritos don't miss, bro. I'm keeping these. I ain't even giving these away. I'm just going to go somewhere in my house in the freezer or something. I ordered these. I'm leaving with something. But I still give these a solid 9-3, man, which is a low score for Doritos, but they're still elite. Wow. A little ASMR uh, milk mustache. I want to eat that cookie, bro. Hold on. Mm. All right. Hot honey mustard. So it's like a spicy honey mustard. I already know the stick is coming. Y'all ain't gonna let that one go. Mm -hmm. Stick is coming is wild. That's wild. Pause. My goodness. We ain't editing that either. Go ahead, comment it. So you can see it's got the spicy uh, a chile with the hot. So it's got a hot honey kind of vibe. But not hot honey, hot mustard. Should be interesting. I got a feeling about these. They're going to suck because I said that. Because I thought those were going to. Come on. Come on. Don't let me down. Don't let me down. It's like a hot honey Cheeto. Where we at? I'm going to tell you this right now. There are a lot of people who are not going to like these. This tastes like the hot mustard Doritos. And I know there's. Those are very controversial in Doritos hierarchy. I'm a person who likes mustard stuff. So I'm going to tell you right now, I like these. But I can tell you, and I'm warning every, I know how a lot of y'all are. Y'all going to try them anyway and tell me they were nasty. If you did not like those hot mustard Doritos, do not get these. Because that is exactly what these taste like. But, all right, this is my homo. There's a little hint of sweetness. But it's microscopic. The dominant flavor in this is that hot mustard. Now, I like those. So if you're a person who did like those, I'm going to pick you up back of these. These hit for me. They're not elite, just like the hot mustard Doritos. But I find those really enjoyable, and I find these really enjoyable. I know some of y'all don't listen to me, so I'm going to say it for the third time. If you didn't like the hot mustard Doritos, do not get these. Don't get them. Don't, don't, don't comment later and tell me, oh, I steered you in the wrong direction. This is me giving you my biased opinion and then giving you the unbiased aspect of this. Some of y'all gonna hate these. I'm not saying it a fourth time. Three strikes. But for me, still good. Solid 8.7. I like the, the Cheeto texture and I like mustard flavor. I like that hot mustard flavor. I like Chinese hot mustard. I'm Chinese from the spot. And that's what it's giving me. So... I'm with these. I'm keeping both of these. Man. You heard what I said. Mm -mm. Okay? It was bang, though. I'm not going to much lie to you. I know how people are, though. That's why I try to give... When I do reviews, I always try to give you what I'm tasting. I know some people look at it like I'm being over-descriptive, which I completely understand. But my angle, as opposed to maybe someone else you don't might watch or whatever... I try to give you the flavors of something so that you know what to expect when you're walking into it. So, again, I can't think for you, but I'm just giving you where I come from. When I taste something, I'm describing it so that if you hear something that you don't like, I'm telling you specifically, don't get that. Because I might like it or dislike it, case in point. But because I understand that everybody's taste buds are different. 
So that's why I've always been like like descri- I I've I've been kind of getting memed on certain apps like TikTok and things like that. Not in a bad way, but I get tagged in things where people tell me I'm like all descriptive. I get that because that's kind of I have a, a a coaching background like a, in a, in a as a and my job now is even like a personal trainer. You know, like as far as like that's the other job that I had for a long time. So that's a personal. It's a coach. You're you're giving instructions all the time. So I think what came from that is me being descriptive about things in that manner because I would rather over describe something or over explain something than under explain it, which is why in a lot of my videos like this, I'm giving you an explanation, which a lot of you might be like, you don't have to explain yourself. I get that, but that's who I am as a person. I'm a person who over explains things because I don't ever want there to be a miscommunication where you say you didn't hear it from me. And even with that, I still get people that I'm like, yo, didn't I say that in the video? That's where it comes from, because in my head, I'm trying to explain to you why, and it's something that I'm not annoyed about. I I take as a personal responsibility when someone says mine, I wasn't clear. You get what I'm saying? Where I'm like, where if you see me reply to you in the comments and I'm like, you know, I said that in a video or so, whatever, I'm not doing it to be condescending. I'm doing it because I'm checking myself. I'm like, I, I, I said that in a video. You get what I'm saying? That's where it comes from. Well... That's what I've always done when reviewing things, is try to give you what I'm tasting. Pause. For that reason. Because another thing that I do, if I'm interacting with people, is... And this is, again, why I'm doing it. If you tell me something's trash, right? Say I did this nacho burger. And people will give their opinions on it, which I like hearing your opinions. Of course I do. And someone's like, and that burger was trash. A lot of times I'm like, okay, well, why didn't you like it? Because in my head, I'm like, okay, if you watched the video and you heard me describe like the corn nuts or the tortilla chips, how it's kind of spicy, the jalapeno cheddar bread, whatever. If something kicked in your head where you were like, I might not like that. And you ate it anyway. I'm just like, why would you eat that? (laughs) But at the same time, Sometimes you might have saw something that I missed, you know, where I'm like, oh, I, I didn't even describe that. But that's where it's coming from. You know, it's not a competition. I'm not trying to be the best food review. Some people write that, which I appreciate. I'm not best or better or worse. Or I'm just myself. Like, that's my personality. Just doing it as, as a, you know, reviewing food or, or eating. That's just who I am. Just like when sometimes people tell me that I talk too much. I talk a lot, bro. That's what I do. <laughs> like, I'm not going to change who I am to make videos. This is me as a person. At any point, I'm a person who over explains. I can go off and talk about the most random stuff. I do this in real life. We are having a conversation. I was talking to one somebody a couple of days ago, and they saw an Instagram reel that was about ancient Rome. They said that it's like a trend now. They said... Every guy thinks about Rome, like, once or twice a week, at least. So, I got asked, they're like, do you think about Rome? (laughs) This is a true story. And I was like, not directly, but indirectly. Because there's reminders of the Roman Empire all over, like, the world. Especially in the U.S. A lot of our politics, the building structure, and, you know, the Latin we have, that's all derived from Rome in one form or another. But I ended up having a long ass conversation where I'm going off about how the Roman Republic and the Roman Empire and and, and talking about the other um like famous or popular senators because everybody knows Julius Caesar, but nobody talks about Augustus who I went on a whole thing. <laughs> I was talking 45 minutes about Rome, bro. That's just who I am as a person. So I'm not going to be anything but me more or less. But I saw this movie before I get out of here because it's literally, like I said, it's going to be a minute. I saw this movie today. It was called A Hunting in Venice. It was an hour and 45 minutes. It was like Clue, but not as good. And there was a ton of jump scares. And there was a an actor who played the villain in Wild Wild West with Will Smith when I was a kid. And all he kept saying was, Mel Dale! That's the whole movie, bro. Like, I don't hate it. I don't love it. I just I just watched it. I kind of dozed off twice, but there was like 14 jump scares. 
and there was a group of these like probably like 10 11 year old kids that was sitting in front of us being all noisy and shit and they got so nervous they walked out of the theater because there was so many jump scares there's a lot of jump scares in that movie like a lot i like like conjuring level jump scares but it wasn't scary at all it was just jet jumps like but that's the whole movie, bro. Would I recommend you go watch it? Nah. <laughs> Would I recommend that you watch it at home? Nah. But I didn't hate it. The acting was good. They had a lot of good actors in it. People you know. But it just, like... It was like... There was a movie last year like that that was called, like... Pray for the Devil. Where I watched it. And I just walked out of the movie and just went... like That was, like... What the hell? Like, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't good. I just felt like I was like, okay, I just watched the movie for an hour and 40 minutes, and I don't know what to say about it. Seriously. If you can find that review, because it's on this this channel. Like, I said the same thing, and that's how I felt today. Hour and 40 minutes, pretty decent acting, right? Some stuff that was pretty, but I don't care. But I do care, but not at all. Yep, that's about it. But them little kids was funny, because they were being noisy as hell. And then I realized quickly, I don't know why they was there, because the movie late was show. Their show was late. And... I realized pretty quickly because the first jump scare, they all jumped. And I was like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then there was another jump scare like two minutes later. And I swear to you, one of the kids, first of all, who let them in that movie? Second of all, it was PG-13. I don't even think they were 13. They might have been, but I'm old. I, don't, I can't tell the difference right now between a 10-year-old and a 16-year-old. I can't tell. They all look the same to me, like kids. So the second jump scare, one of the kids gets up. He goes, nah, that's it, man. I was like, and he said, let's get out of here before there's another jump scare. Like, he said it out loud. And I was just, I had this, like, little grin on my face. I didn't laugh, because, you know what I'm saying? Kids, you get scared, whatever. But I was like, wow, that's crazy. Because I remember being a kid and watching, like, Leprechaun and Chucky and shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, wild. But that, that was the happening. And then when I left the theater, it was, like, 11 o'clock, and they were still sitting outside. I don't know where, how, it's like, it ain't a school night? I don't know what the hell's going on, but that's what that was. But that's my video for today. Me explaining some stuff. One of the most W Wendy's meals that I've had. Like, ever. They just did it right this time. Wow. Like, look at this potato. That's going to be the title. But I love y'all, man. We'll be back tomorrow with more content. The hand signs. They made it to YouTube.